Hi everybody, I'm Claire. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got two main hobbies in my life. One is obviously painting, the other is running. Um, I belong to a running club called um, Histon and Impington Runners, High Runners, and it's run by an amazing coach called Neil Marsh. Now, Neil is a friend of mine as well as um, a running coach, and he owns Neil Marsh Health and Fitness Gym in Willingham, Cambridgeshire. I'll put his link in the video description. Um, now, he really, really liked this painting. Um, and I said, it's yours, you can have it. But I realised the colour for him is wrong. So his branding is a magenta purple colour. And I'll, if I if I think about it, I'll put a photograph in here now of him and his, his branding colour. So the, the magenta purple for his brand is different from this pinky colour um, and he wanted this for his gym so what I'm going to do now is a very very similar painting to this for this for him on a slightly larger canvas on a 40 by 40 centimetre canvas but I'm going to base it on his gym colours his branding colours so um, his magenta purple colour for the base a slightly paler version for um, in the design and then the same colours um, as here which which I'll show you now so here are my colours. So the base colour, first of all, um, is this. Now this is deliberately lighter than the colour I want. Um, I, may, I mixed the perfect colour I wanted um, and I did a little tester. In fact, I'll show you, it's a bit messy. But I did a little tester there and it just dried too dark, that bit in the centre. So um, I've deliberately added more white. So at the moment, this looks far too light, but I know it's going to dry darker. So always go a bit lighter to start with, knowing it's going to go dry, darker. So that's the base and it's mixed... Um, three parts magenta to one part purple, both of which are Montmartre colours. This little cup here, I've just added more white. So um, it's the same as the base colour, but more white added. I've got some um, Pebio Studio Acrylics um, Iridescent Gold. I've got here some Amsterdam Bronze and two more Pebio colours. I've got Iridescent Blue Black and um, the pearlescent white, pearl white, iridescent pearl white. They're all mixed with flood flow troll, and I'll put the uh, description, uh, the the recipe for these video for these uh, paints in the video description. So just to show you the consistency, it's nice and runny, nice and fluid. It pours beautifully off my stick, and it just goes straight under the surface of the paint. Um, there's no trace. So I'm going to first of all cover my base. So to do that, what I like to do is just put a, a lot of paint in the centre and then use the hairdryer just to blow it out. So that's my canvas covered. I've just touched the edges just to make sure they're all covered. Um, I'm now just going to uh, burst the air bubbles with my blowtorch. Right, so let's add some of the paint. So I've decided to add a little bit of the bronze first. So I'm going diagonally across the canvas. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear. It's fine, absolutely fine. <laughs> so I'm just adding a bit more of the purple and then I'm just going to blow that out again. I'm glad that happened now and not when all the colours were down. So 
So take the spoon out the pot before you put the paint on maybe. Saw a few lumps. Right, let's put some glue in. Some gold. Pearl white, and then last but not least, the pale violet colour. Right, I'll just give that another torch. So I'm going for my negative space here in the corners. So I'm going to blow this from the centre up and then from the centre down. Great, that's a good start. So lots of negative space. Um, there's some amazing, amazing cells popping up already. What I'm gonna do now is just spend some time blowing around the edges just to soften the edges and just to sort the center out. It's finished, it's done. I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks incredibly similar to the first one, which is great because that's the one that Neil really liked. Um, I had a slight problem with the pale pink. I felt that there was too much of the pale pink in the centre. So what I have done is torched it and I've managed to um, get some more cells appear, a little bit more detail um, appear. And I also, in this section, I blew over extra um, by mouth uh, just to try and spread out that pale pink. Um, just look at the cells and the lacing. Look at that sparkly white lacing over the top of the violet. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. Um, there's some just beautiful effects and beautiful cells. Um, and that bit there, it's it's a bit scaly looking. Oh, and that bit, I've not noticed that yet. It's a bit like a spine. I love looking so close at paintings and you just see all sorts of details. Um, the blue is a little bit lost. There's a bit of the blue there. Um, little, there's just little hints of it. Um, I'm not worried about that though. I just want the magenta purple colour um, to be so, so obvious and dominant and I really think it will be. Um, there's not a huge amount of contrast between the design here and the base, but as I said, colours will darken. So I think once this darkens, this will actually stand out more. Um, so I will be back when it's dry. So I just put the painting in the drying back, a drying rack, and I just had this nagging feeling that actually maybe the painting was just too pink. Um, so I have decided to do another one. I, I still had loads of the base colour left, um, and I've made sure I've still got a little bit more in case I need to do any um, touch-ups when the painting's dry. Um, so I've just put another base down. So I thought, well, maybe I could just use exactly the same colours again. But I've decided to change it, to, to mix it up. So I'm going to do the same design, but now I'm going to change the colours. This is magenta, Montmartre magenta and Montmartre purple. So I'm going to use those two colours in the design. And then I've got the pale um, uh, mixture, like I used in the previous painting. And then I've got some, uh, I think it's called Quinacrid Quinacridone Rose Light by Amsterdam. And then I've still got my gold and my pearl white from the previous pour. So the gold, the white and the pale purple are the same. I've just added two shades of pink and purple. So they match this colour scheme perfectly. Um, I don't know if if this will be right for Neil, but he loves this colour. He, he's, yeah, everything, everything is, is purple. His sunglasses, his uh, running sunglasses, everything is this colour purple. His t-shirts. Um, so let's just... 
really embrace this colour and go for it. So I'm going to do it in the same way. I'm going to pour it on um, diagonally. So that was the Montmartre purple and then the, the rose light. And then some gold. Then the Montmartre Magenta. Some Pearl White. And then this time I'm going to add the pale purple, but I'm only going to add just a tiny, tiny bit because I just felt like it really took over last time. There you go, just a really thin, thin bead of paint. Right, I'm going to blow from the centre again. Um, I think I'm going to, instead of just trying to do, but when it was a 30 centimetre, I could just do one blow that way and then one blow that way. But I just feel this canvas is a bit big for that, the 40 by 40. So I think I'm going to do some little blows at 45 degree angles. And I started doing it with the previous one, um, but I think I'm going to more deliberately do it this time. That's really pretty. It's a totally different effect. You've got this wonderful twist in the middle. Right, really, really happy so far. Cells are amazing. Um, but I don't like the really, really stark edges. So I know as I did with the previous one, I'm just gonna spend some time blowing around the edges. I am just a little bit excited about this one. Um, I I really, really like it. Um, it's very, very different from the first. What I think I like most is the movement in it. You've got this twist here and then it kind of twists again. You could, It almost looks like, you know, like a piece of rope, but you can see the twists in it. I'm really pleased with it. The composition I love because I don't, I hate it when I do a touch pot and you get these perfectly round petals. That's not me at all. Um, I like it when they fade out, but you'll notice they fade out, but they don't break. So it's focused, sorry. And what I mean, um, oh, it won't focus. What I mean by that is you can see you can see the defined edge all the way round, and you can up here only just around there. And that's what I quite like. Um, you can get very, very floaty Dutch pores where it just it just floats to, into nothing, which is which is great. But I just like it when it softens but doesn't break. Um, you've got such intense colour here in the centre, uh, which I love. I don't know why, sorry, it's just not focusing properly. Um, and then look at the cells, they're so pretty. So this time, it's definitely not dominated by that pale um, purpley colour. Um, in fact, I don't really think there is a dominant colour this time. All, all of the colours have just blended nicely. I'm very glad I put the dark purple on bot the bottom because it's such a powerful colour, but you've just got hints of it everywhere. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see how this one dries. 
So they're both dry. Um, first thing, the colour, I absolutely love it. I really think it matches Neil's colour branding. So, so happy with the colour mix. Um, so I'm going to take you first of all to see the, to show you the first painting. Um, so really happy with this lovely large negative space in the top and bottom. Um, the design, the I love the colours, but there's definitely too much, I think, of this really pale pink. I think it just dominates. Um, and the, the composition, I, I guess I'm happy with it. I just think it looks a bit boring though. It, the line through the center is just too straight with not enough coming off from the edges. Um, so I was happy with it until I did the second one. Um, and looking back now, I just think it just looks a bit dull. It just, it's just not that interesting. Um, some pretty cells, um, so some lovely effects. I don't want to be to be too harsh on it. And I think, to be fair, if I had only done this one, I would have been happy. But in hindsight, um, yeah, I'm not keen, as you can probably tell. Um, so then moving on to the second one, this is the opposite. I absolutely love it. I, I am so, so pleased with, with the design. The composition is just fab. So it looks like this, I think to me, it looks like a rope that has got this lovely twist in the middle. Um, so because this is Vanille and it's gonna be going into his gym, I want to call this painting Battle Rope. Um, and a battle rope or battle ropes are something that he has in his gym and they're ropes that are used for exercise, um, for um, strengthening your core and your overall body strength. Um, so to me, yeah, this is, looks like a rope, so it, I'm gonna call it Battle Rope. Um, so let me show you close up. I think what I love is just the fact the colours are just so bright and rich and deep and the contrast between those and the base um, is just so much stronger than with the other painting. You've got a lot more cells and just a lot more detail um, in the in the design. Um, and then yeah, this is my favourite bit. This just this twist just it just looks so much like a rope to me. Um, and I'm really happy you've got the intense colour here, but then it just fades and these lovely irregular edges, some lovely, some lovely cells. And again, you've got such um, big areas of negative space, which is what I was wanting. Um, the other amazing fab thing about this painting is how iridescent it is. Just look how shiny it's the, uh, the, the pearl white and the gold so shiny i'm about to varnish this so it'll get shinier still um, but then i won't be able to show you once it's varnished it won't show very well on a camera because it will just be so glary um, so there they both are let me know what you think maybe i'm being a bit too harsh on the the first one i'm not sure but without a doubt this is the painting i'm going to give neil for his birthday let me know what you think. Please leave me comments. Um, and if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Great. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.